What's up YouTube? It's your girl Mac and I'm back with another Mac of All Trades video. Tonight, yes I said tonight, I'm going to be showing you um, a little tour of the foyer, the living room, and the dining room at my new house and how I've decorated it. We're going to go through each room and I'll explain some of the items and why I chose them, where I picked them up, or what significance they have um, to my life and to my family's life. Um, but yeah, I chose to do the video at night just because I really love my house in the nighttime. Um, I like sunlight, don't get me wrong, but I also like the like mood lighting that come from like lamps and candles and things like that. So I always feel like really at home, um, in my house at nighttime. I don't know. Um, it's just something that makes me feel more homey. We'll get into the tour and I'll start you off in the foyer. So here is the front door that we came through. And to the left here is the um, closet, like a coat closet. And I have a wreath here that has that little truck. You may remember that little truck from our 90% off Hobby Lobby haul. And then I have this sign here that says family, a little bit crazy, a little bit of loud and a whole lot of love. And I have pictures of my family all over it. And then next to the door, we have the cute little window. I love that window. Um, and then it says, you are my bucket list. Have this cute little sign here. And then this is holds our keys um, for me and Lego. Um, a friend of Legos actually made that for us. It's wood and it's all like raised and stuff. It's really, really pretty. Okay, so I have this big welcome sign. Um, I'm pretty sure I picked that up at Hobby Lobby a long time ago. It was like five bucks and it is huge. And then there's a picture of me and my family. And then I have this really cute gossip bench here. I painted that. Um, and then I reupholstered the cushion there and then added this lamp that I picked up from the thrift store. It's actually a world market lamp, but I got it at the thrift store. I think it was like five bucks. And then I picked up this old rotary phone here. That's from Etsy. And then underneath here, I just got this from Etsy. This was on one of the like little antique shops. And it's a Shawnee Mission High School student directory from 1952. And um, I actually went to a Shawnee Mission school. So um, this was a really cool find. This is actually gonna be, now it's Shawnee Mission North. This is what that would be for. So I thought that would be really cute next to my little rotary phone that I picked up on Etsy. But I just, I have always wanted to have one of these gossip benches in my house. My great grandparents have one and they have the rotary phone there, just like it. And so I've always been obsessed with wanting to have one of these in my own home just because it's so nostalgic. And then next to the gossip bench, I have this little, um, coat tree I guess you would call it. I picked that up at Hobby Lobby last year when they did the 90% off um, spring shop decor. I picked that up. It was super cheap. Um, and then I have this little faux plant right here that I picked up on a Kohl's haul. Um, and then over on this side I have this beautiful um, it's like a canvas tote that's tie-dyed that says Mac Attack on it and it has the um, Lyme disease ribbon on it because um, I'm sure most of you who um, are new to the channel and don't personally know me, I actually have Lyme disease but that will have to come in a whole nother video. Maybe I'll do a video where explaining what it is and um, all of that. But moving right along and so this is the entryway going into the living room and then down to the left goes down into the office slash den 
and I have these four paintings here. I actually painted those myself. I'll go ahead and show you those. These are watercolor paintings that I've done. It's kind of hard to see. All right, and now moving into the living room, off to the left here, I have this frame here with pictures of my kids in it. And it says, Mom, the heart of a family. I picked that up at Kirkland. And right here, I have this antique um, suit valet that I bought off of Facebook Market for $5. And it has two of my, my dad had passed away almost two years ago, but it has um, two of my dad's hats on here and it has my dad's leather um, it was kind of like a jacket slash shirt he used to wear all the time. So I, I have that on there. And then inside this little um, American flag box, there's little um, other things that belong to my dad. But I keep that on display right there because I like to feel like he's always with us. He's always here. So I just like to have lots of memories of him around. And then I have this little... Um, faux magnolia wreath here underneath there and um, holding that up is a wreath stand that I picked up from a trip to the thrift and then next to all that is this cute little um, desk that I redid that was another thrift find put some slat um, wood slats on the top and stained those and I have this little chair here that I repainted and then reupholstered the seat. That was another thrift store find. I think I got it for like five bucks. But on here I have this antique Underwood typewriter that actually belonged to this woman right here who is my grandma. And um, she has passed away, but this was hers. And so I have that here on display and then next to it. Um, a picture of my dad from when he was in high school and then under there I just have some antique books that were my dad's right there and then we have this little cloche here on a stand with a little sign that says feathers appear when angels are near and then a little wooden motorcycle and it's just little things that remind me of my dad and then shining down on that I keep this lamp on all the time it's kind of almost like a nightlight in the house um, I got this lamp at a thrift store for I think it was like 12 bucks at Savers and then above that this is my dad's handprint we actually made handprints of my dad's hand when um, right before he passed away. So I keep that right there. I like to keep all these things kind of near each other um, just to help remind me of him. And then next to that, we have the little doggy gate, nice big heavy wooden gate that we'll put across the big entrance into the living room just to keep the dogs contained whenever we know people are going to be coming over and on the other side of where you walk in i have this beautiful tin piece right here that lego got me one year for my birthday it's from michael's and then this beautiful tripod lamp here that i picked up from tuesday morning and then we have this blanket ladder right here that me and lego actually made we made these ladders we made quite a few of them um that i keep little throw blankets on and then I have this cute little wreath with succulents on it hanging from that and then down below it have that big topiary ball that came from Ikea it was like 12 bucks or something like that and then this little wooden um, sphere that one came from the thrift and then I have this beautiful lantern here that's from Kirkland's and then of course my Luminara candles. I absolutely love Luminara. Like they are my favorite 
brand of battery operated candles. And then next to that, we have the little etc. Um, metal basket. And that holds more of the throw blankets and then a couple of throw pillows in there. But let me show you what that looks like overall. Okay, now moving on into the actual living room. This is kind of an overview of what it looks like. And we got Chewy over there. All right. And then these, this is one of the end tables that we redid from Trip to the Thrift. Um, it was a $5 table. We totally transformed it on it. I have a picture of me and my dad and then just some faux flowers. And then that metal plate, uh, I think I picked that up at Hobby Lobby. And then this one was the bigger one was from um, TJ Maxx or Home Goods. And then got my sun drenched linen candle from Bath and Body Works, one of my favorites. And then I got this little truck here. Um, this truck actually is the little ceramic truck kind of, I don't, I'm, I think it's resin actually, but um, Lego actually used this little truck to propose to me. My dad had an old truck and so anytime I see a um, like blacked out truck like that, it reminds me of my dad, but he actually used this actual one to propose to me. He put the ring in the bed of the truck, but um, yeah, so that's the first end table. Then we'll scan on over here. This mirror I picked up at a 90% off Hobby Lobby Spring Shop haul. And I have that just displayed right over the couch. And then next to it, just a black and white print of the forest. And then next door to that is the other trip to the thrift table. And there's our 90% off haul frame. I still have to find a picture for it. And then I got my Luminar candles in here. I actually picked up this Hurricane recently at Michael's for like six bucks. And then here is a picture of my grandma, Annie, and she is right there when she became a beautician. And that was her in her salon. So yeah, so I like to have lots of little um, things that remind me of my family around me and then underneath here we have um, just I still have yet to completely decorate under there just got a picture under there and a couple of galvanized tens and then right over here in the corner we have a picture of me and Lego that was our engagement picture or announcing our engagement picture and then that is a picture of my daddy from when he um, was in boot camp and then this is my grandma and my other grandma and my kiddos and I still got to put a frame picture in there and then this clock is actually like a super expensive um, clock it's a Howard Miller clock um, I picked that up at the thrift for I want to say $5.99 $6.99 somewhere around there and come find out it's like a thousand or $1,200 clock so yeah and it even has a little key to wind it up all of that sits on top of this cabinet that my dad actually built um, it has our last name our family last name engraved in there he did all of this he built the whole thing himself but um, it wasn't always this beautiful gray color I actually painted it that color and then the glass had actually broken over the years that was in there so I just replaced it with some um, metal tin right there and then I put a wreath on the front and what's the coolest part is actually on the back um, my dad like engraved his signature in the back and he actually built this cabinet in 1976 on the fireplace um, this is a picture I painted with acrylic paint it's the Kansas City skyline 
in Starry Night Van Gogh. Um, Van Gogh is actually my favorite impressionist artist and I just love Starry Night. Starry Night is my favorite um, just work of art ever and so I thought it would be really cool to put the Kansas City skyline right there with Starry Night in there. And then down here next to the fireplace, I have this very large truck here. That's actually a repainted piece. I, when I picked it up, um, it was actually green and red. It was a Christmas truck and I repainted it in matte black um, and then redid all the handles and did some chrome accents on it. And in the back here has my a pair of my dad's cowboy boots and this little sign that says, because someone we love is in heaven, there's a little bit of heaven in our home. And then wrapped around the boots is my dad's, one of my dad's belt buckles. And then next to my dad's boots is actually his mom's little boots. These are very, very old. So I have those all in the back of this truck which obviously, like you heard me before, I said any of these kind of old trucks like this always remind me of my dad, so I thought it would only be fitting to put his boots back there with his mom's boots. And then over here on the other side of the fireplace, I just have this little black tin filled with topiary balls and then just the pokers and stuff for there. And then this chair was actually my dad's. Um, it's an antique. So I have this sitting here and I had to put a pillow in it to make sure nobody sits in it. And then I have my pencil tree here and then just this really big lantern with a letter B in there lit up for our last name. And then a picture right here of my dad's truck. That's his actual truck and his motorcycle in the back. And that was actually at his uh, funeral. That picture was taken at his funeral. And then next to the TV, we have just this little galvanized um, bucket and it's just filled with different greenery and lights. I, I just love Luminar candles. They're my absolute favorite candles yes they're a little bit pricey but they're definitely worth it and this is our coffee table this is actually a Facebook market find that was like a ugly blonde wood color and we repainted it and put some wood slats on the top that we stained and it is just beautiful and so that's I have under here these uh, little boxes to keep like my planner and stuff in because I'm constantly writing in it. And then I have this little notebook here. This is where I keep all my content ideas for my YouTube channel. And then I have this Bath and Body Works candle holder. It's a barn. And then for coffee table books, I have two um, Kansas City, like um, they're they're just books of pictures of stuff around Kansas City. And of course we gotta have the coasters that say, don't fuck up the table. <laughs> and then here's just kind of another little centerpiece for the coffee table. And I always like to have a little bowl of candy. Saltwater taffy is delicious. And then have our little this is from my Coles haul, and then I have my little pillow mist. If any of you buy these from Bath and Body Works, these are the uh, pillow mists. You don't just have to use them on your um, pillows for like your bedroom. I use them on my throw pillows. I use them um, on the actual fabric of the couch to help make it smell real good because we do have dogs and one of them's over here just snoozing away. There's the TV. And the TV stand that's from Ashley Furniture, do not buy from them, they are terrible. And then moving on into the dining room, from the living room, we have a beautiful gold chandelier here that has crystals hanging from it. Absolutely love the chandelier. And then over here to the left, you'll recognize that picture from our hall at Hobby Lobby. And then this big piece right here um, 
That I picked up from Hobby Lobby as well last year during their 90% off um, spring shop haul. Um, and then down here I have another one of those big lanterns, lots of luminara candles, and then just different like galvanized tins with faux greenery in it and some lemons because I do a, I love to do lemon decor during the summertime. Give you an overview of it all. All right, moving along to the other side of the dining room, I have our bar cart and we have a nice little serving board here that has um, our name engraved in it. And just different things that we need for our bar cart. And then the decanters here, I'm working on trying to find more decanters, but these three are actually from the thrift crystal decanters. For the other side of the dining room, we have our Hobby Lobby 90% off chair. I'm working on finding, I, I really wanna get another one. I think I'm just gonna have to spend the money and get another one off of online. It's $169, but oh well, I saved a ton on that. I want one for this end of the table and then that end of the table. Now, and then we have the big letter B. Um, I actually bought that from Hobby Lobby and it was all black. And then my best friend was like, you need to do that gray with a whitewash to match all your stuff. And I was like, okay, consider it done. So I did that. And then over here we have the buffet and that is actually from Kirkland's. We have this beautiful um, mirror here that's from Kohl's and then the two buffet lamps are from Kirkland and then this little plate stand here that actually used to be gray I picked it up at a thrift store and it was gray and then these are actually my grandma's old dishes so I use those on there then we have a letter B here just I, I just love like throwing things together like this was just one of those things I think they still sell these during the fall time at Hobby Lobby but I just added in you know like the little galvanized um, scoop there and then some luminaras and down here just have some pictures of um, my kiddos and a cute little scale topiary balls and then that love sign we picked up from the Coles Hall down here in this box is actually my grandma's um, silverware. So I keep that down there. And then that little sign was from our little 90% off haul at Hobby Lobby. And then over here in the corner, we have this little sign that says, this is our happy place. I picked that one up at an antique shop. And then we have another one of those ladders that me and Lego made, but these ones we attach baskets to, to hold our napkins. Um, and then this little box from Hobby Lobby holds the little napkin rings. And we have a little basket there. This is the main focal art piece on the wall is our, uh, I picked up these two kind of like church door, barn door looking things. Um, I picked those up at Hobby Lobby during a 90% off, again, 90% off, um, spring shop haul last year. And then the um, tobacco basket that's there, that is from Kirkland's. And then the wreath inside's from Kirkland's. And then we got this gather sign. I can't remember where we picked that up. But uh, I want to say Michael's. And then we painted it white and put it on there. And then on to the dining room table. All of these plates, the dinner plates and the salad plates, these are from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. Yeah, one dollar each. Absolutely beautiful. And then we have our vase, metal vases here from our 90% off Hobby Lobby haul. And I have this really cute two-decker candle holder that I just added a whole bunch of greenery into, some lemons, got a luminara, just a little sign here in a white tobacco basket. 
And then our actual dining room table was actually a Facebook market find. It was all blonde wood. And so I sanded it all down. I painted the bottom part a white chalk paint and then on top did a dark stain. And it is absolutely beautiful. And then we have the metal chairs here and then a person's chair here and a person's chair there but like I said I want to replace those but these person's chairs are actually from the thrift they were actually a faux leather brown and I just made um, slip covers for them to match everything so, and I promise you there's more to come in the house tour we're doing some work in the kitchen right now. And then I have a fun light video to show you. Oh, here comes Shui. He's just hanging out. But yeah, we have a fun um, DIY chandelier video that we're gonna be working on that we're getting ready to do for the uh, kitchen so I'm really excited to get that going and that's when we'll give you a whole kitchen tour um, but eventually as we get more things done I'll start doing more and more of the um, tour videos but yeah go ahead and hit that like button if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and um, I'll see y'all in the next one bye